this is very, very sad news for us, especially those of us who had the privilege to can share our life's, uh, you know, uh, journey with a person like uh, Tenten Dimande. But also, as far as Kaiser Chiefs is concerned, it's a great loss because when one looks at uh, the kind of work that was done in terms of laying a, a very rock-solid foundation for this club, you'll always uh, think of people like him because uh, they were here during the, the, you know, the very, very tough times when things were very difficult. People did not give us any chance to survive and they thought this was just a pipe dream. But uh, people like him put their, 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 their heads on the block to say we'll you know, pursue this uh, endeavor to make sure that we build a very good uh, brand uh, in the name of Kaiser Chiefs. So one obviously looks at, uh, looks back and say, where we, where do we come from? And the first thing that comes to mind is reminding those who laid the foundation. I mean, so, Mr. Nzimande was there from the word go late 1969, the way I've gathered. What do you remember most and about him and you know, during those trying times then? You know, when we started, uh, we obviously relied mostly in terms, uh, we relied on the support and information that we gathered from our supporters. And uh, it happened that uh, while Kaiser 11 was touring the country, uh, he became one of the, uh, our uh, uh, players who were identified by our supporters. And we pursued that route. And uh, and of course, it was a very successful uh, acquisition to get a person like Tenten. And he came not very easy because he used to play for Wanderers. Uh, it was a very, very uh, intense battle between us and Wanderers to get, get him to come to Johannesburg. But ultimately, due to the way in which uh, the late Iwat Nene used to charm uh, these players, uh, we were able to bring him to Johannesburg and that's how we got him away from Wanderers. But it was a huge battle because Wanderers would not let him go because he was one of their biggest pillars in the team. What do you remember most about him? Well, he was a very kind man, but he was obviously strongly built and tallish and uh, very, very kind, but very soft in speaking but uh, he on the field of obviously he made his presence felt because of his stature and size but also he wasn't a rough player he, he was tough and strong but he wasn't dirty and rough but uh, you know and he was a very kind person I mean he would do things that uh, uh, other people would feel hurt about but he would soften them a little bit to show them that no it's not meant out of malice but it's just a part of the game. So he, he was a very interesting character. He was not uh, a very quick player per se because of his size but he was a very steady player and very sure in what he was doing and you could rely upon him because he was always always there to support.